Hello, I'm Jimmy O'Kay, the Democracy and Development Officer at the University of Bradford Union of Students, and it's part of my role to be in charge of all the democratic functions, but most especially the elections. Now, I was elected to this position last year, and when I actually found out that I'd won, the first thing that came to my mind was, Jimmy, you are in a position of leadership. You are going to be working to lead this issue alongside your colleagues. And so that further developed my idea to push forward for this idea of the Leadership Race campaign. Other students unions have done it at Staffordshire and Leeds, and I thought that was much more reason why we should go ahead with this campaign. So it was quite a long process, to be honest, I must admit. Um, I had to start the whole promotional campaign, start to get a staff team around me, a lot of support, and even, I mean, even the little things like doing forms and the sign-up sheets, it was a long process. We had quite a big promotional campaign in terms of getting people to sign up and this year we saw a 45% increase in people running for full-time sabbatical positions. And that was a great thing and a great thing to show off about in our issue. So some of you may have seen my election video where I walked around to students and I went around and hugged our sports and societies officer. But again, that was part of my idea of showing you guys what it's like to be a sab, but showing you guys what it's like to be in the students' union. And so I thought, okay, how can we spice this up? and hustings was the first point. Now this year we saw uh, just under 300 students come down and attend our hustings. And when I ran, it was about 10 people and they were all my campaigners watching me. But we had a great, massive, uh, a massive amount of engagement, a massive turnout, and a lot more people came down to find out who their next officers would be and their next leaders in the Students' Union. So hustings was a long, long drawn out process with three days of it. And this year we added something different. We let candidates debate with each other. That's something which has never been seen in Hustings, but I think that gave you guys out there the opportunity to see who could battle it out and see who could actually fight to get their point across to you. We had more questions from the floor and we also incorporated social media. So we had questions being tweeted in and quite a few guys actually used this and made sure that you had your voices heard, even though you weren't there. And so the next big thing about elections is the campaign and the voting. And I know a lot of you out there would have been disturbed and had a lot of people come up to you saying, have you voted? Have you voted for this person? Have you voted for that person? Have you not voted? Let me see. Let me find out if you voted. And that, that happens every year. Even I can't. I must admit, when I ran, I did that also as well. But that's the part of the vibe. Campus was alive. A lot of people were engaged. A lot of people obviously were pestered. But we had a record turnout again of people participating. Just over 37% of our electorate voted in this year's elections. And that's a testament of Bradford people and Bradford students using their right to vote and using their right to have their voices heard. Now the campaign process for me was quite, it was quite long I must admit and watching people go around and knocking, well not knocking doors because we banned that but go around and actually talk to people and seeing people actually engage, seeing people find out what actually matters in their SU, seeing people put their point across to students, that was so satisfying. That was satisfying to see that we were doing our job as a student's union. So it was quite a long process and I know a lot of you guys who campaigned and a lot of you guys who were candidates saw it as something that was beneficial for you. Now a lot of lessons are learned from the election process. You learn how to manage people, but you also learn how to make sure you can convey your message across to students and make sure that you can articulate yourself well enough so that your points got across. And even campaigners, you did that as well. You must have spoken to a lot of people in this process. Now for me, I've quite enjoyed it. I've quite enjoyed running the elections, I've quite enjoyed being a part of it and I've, I've been glad to see how a lot of people at the beginning started and how they finished because a lot of you have grown in this process. Now for those of you who just found out you've won, congratulations and I'm happy for you and as you can see in this video we'll probably have clips of you celebrating and having tears in your eyes etc etc but again that was a culmination of all your effort that you put into your campaign. The effort that you put to get yourself across the students, the effort that you put in your hustings, the effort you put in your manifestos, the effort that you put in this overall whole leadership race campaign, that's a testament to you guys and congratulations for winning and congratulations for being a part of this union but also becoming a leader. So for those of you who unfortunately did not win, commiserations but also congratulations. You must have spoken to a lot of students, you must have conveyed your message across to a lot of people and actually engaged people in the election process. And so you played your part in this leadership race campaign, so well done to you. So on behalf of my team and myself and all those who helped in the election process, congratulations to all of you. Whether you lost or won, you have made this experience your own. Now I've had fun running and leading on this leadership race campaign and I look forward to see what you guys who have been elected can do in the future and do for our students' union. Well done, all the best and I hope to see you all soon. Thank you very much.